Hello, this is a little video just to show you the impact that very large X, Y coordinates can have on the visualization of your simulation. So uh, I have a very basic model here. If we look in 2D, it's just a room with a door and about 50 occupants in here. And everything looks okay right now. Um, there's just cylinders in here. If I go to 3D view, kind of looks okay. You might notice that as you rotate, things seem kind of jiggly. You can see, kind of see how agents bob around a little bit as I move. And that's some evidence of the problem. Um, and then I ran this simulation. And let's take a look at the results of that. So this is the results view. And again, you'll see a very similar um, kind of vibration as I move the agents. And if I play this back, they move, but you, they might seem kind of, um, I don't know, like their movements are real discreet. Like they kind of jerk around as they're moving. It's not smooth. That's another indication. And uh, what will usually be the big giveaway is if I change this to occupants to display as people, you'll see just crazy geometry for the agents just stretched out and looking really odd. <laughs> I think that is not what that's not what they're supposed to look like. And and basically what you're seeing here is a floating point precision um, errors, right? So we're just the position of these uh, tiny little bits of geometry. Um, are being erroneously displayed because um, they're kind of snapping between points as close as they can fit uh, to the to the uh, precision that they're allowed here. So let's go back and fix this. So we can, you know, usually this happens if you import CAD geometry, and um, you know the X Y positioning of the drawing is using very large coordinates with some you know, distant datum point as a reference. And so these values will be very large. And if you switch to 2D view and you mouse around, you'll notice here at the lowest sort of minimum X, Y point, I'm at, I'm like a million um, meters in the X and a million in the Y. So it's a fairly large offset. So one thing that you can do just to bring everything to where you want to go is uh, using the selection tool, just find kind of the min, min x, y point on your model. Like in this case, it would be here. You know, if I had a large building, just the closest to the origin that you want, where you want your new uh, zero, zero point to be. So in this case, I'll just use this reference. And I know that, you know, by looking at this, it's about a million by a million offset. So we can just click here and I'll just shift click to the bottom and that'll grab everything. And then you can click on this move tool and leaving, leaving it in normal mode so we don't make a copy, I'm going to move the X by uh, 1 million, 2, 3, yeah, 5, 6, and the Y by negative 1 million as well, and leaving the Z alone. Now, if the Z is also very far away, you would want to move that, and you could detect that in the 3D view. Um, or clicking an object should give you a number here. So we're going to move that, and you'll see it. Everything disappeared. And if I hit refresh view, it snaps back. But now we're close to the origin point, and you can see the values down here in the lower left corner that they're close to zero. So that's great. So everything moved. And now if we rerun this case, we're going to go ahead and overwrite the outputs. It should take just a second, and we'll open results. And so now here's our new results. You can see the movement is very smooth. That's a good sign. And if we change the view to show the occupants as people, they look normal like they should. And they and when they move, there's very smooth movement. If I change this back to display by cylinders and play, you'll see everything moves very smoothly. Um, in the results view as well. So that's the solution. If you ever see just really crazy distorted geometry, jaggedy lines, characters are all terrible looking, your model doesn't look right um, in results or um, in the modeling window. And sometimes you'll see that in your CAD models or your CAD geomet geometry. It'll just be like lines don't look right, everything's really distorted. It's probably because everything is just very, very far away from the origin point. And so by moving everything back, you resolve that issue. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.